What's up guys, it's time to finish our sonic screwdriver by putting the electronics into a new shell. So the first thing we're going to do is design the model for the screwdriver, which I'm going to do on Tinkercad.com, which is a free online 3D design workspace made by Autodesk. Unfortunately, with these shapes, it doesn't look great, but we can't get a whole lot better with the sizes of our components that we have to work around. So this is the finished design, and as you can see, it's split into three different pieces. There's the top, which the skinnier components will go into. There's there's the main body, and then there's a little pommel for it, which will go inside the main body. With these printed out, we can see there's some imperfections on these 3D printed pieces. So the first thing to do is sand those off with something like a P60 grit, and then sand all of the pieces with a P220 grit for painting. Then we're just going to spray paint them. I'm choosing silver for this. And then it's time for the final assembly. Now, unfortunately, I actually designed the neck too narrow for the three LEDs to slide through it and come out the top, which is what I had originally planned. So instead, we're actually going to have to cut off these LEDs here, and then we'll slide the wires through and solder them on later. The first thing to do is slide most of the electronics into the main body section and out of the top of that section. So all six of the wires for the two RGB LEDs and the IR LED should come out the top as well as the speaker, the light sensor, and the IR receiver. Then we'll put these components into the top section. So all of the wires need to go down the neck of the section and come out the top. Then we need to have the light sensor go through one of the holes and the IR receiver go through the other hole. The speaker will simply stay in this narrower section here so that the sound could come out these two holes as well as through the body. Now that our wires are sticking out the tip of the sonic screwdriver, we can go ahead and solder them back onto the RGB LEDs and the IR LED. Then we can add a glue dot in the center of those three LEDs to stick them together. Then we can glue all around them and put them back into the head of the sonic screwdriver. Mine are sticking out a little bit more than I'd originally designed because I left the leads on the LEDs a little bit too long. But there's not much that can be done about that now that I've coated it in hot glue. The next step is to glue in the light sensor. So I'll add glue all around it and then a little bit of extra and then simply hold it in place in the hole it's supposed to go in while the rest of the glue sets. You may want to turn the sonic screwdriver on its side for this so that instead of flowing deeper into the sonic screwdriver, the glue will stay more horizontal. For the IR receiver, I've gone ahead and removed the metal casing so it can actually fit, and then we'll simply add a glue dot on the top of it and then slide it into place. It's a pretty snug fit. Then we can add glue all around this rim on the body here and glue on the top section. The last step is to add the batteries into the battery casing by shaking it out the bottom and then sliding them in, and then we can do the pommel. Now for the pommel, I'm simply adding a little bit of hot glue around the edge of the narrower part, and then I'll let this dry and set before I actually put it into the sonic screwdriver. This way we'll get a nice rubbery texture and a very tight fit, but it won't be permanently glued so we can still pop it off when we need to change the battery. Once we squeeze that in, there's just one thing left to do. Test it out and learn how to use it, which I'm going to do in this video right here. 